Hello, Kalea. Come on in. How are you today? Good day. Oh, yay. You brought your book bag back. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and get started today, okay? Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with your familiar read. We're going to start with picking a... Picking. 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 Picking a pumpkin. Find the first box. Picking a pumpkin by Chris Bottle. Is Chris Bottle a girl? You know, I'm not for sure. I can find out for you, though. Um, I can research it and find Wait, out. The first That's page. one of your favorite authors, huh, Chris Bono? Wait, just the first page. Mm -hmm. And you can tell because um, if it's if you go like that, then usually it's this first page. And good job because we had been skipping pages, right? And I told you that's something to be aware of. So good job for making sure. Come here, Seth. Mom, look at this pump. No, Seth. Bit. Bit. His name is Ben. No, Seth. Ben. This pumpkin is too little. Come here, Seth. Dad. Come and look at this, Seth. Dad. Try that again. Come here, Seth. Dad. Come and look at this big pumpkin. No, 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 said Ben. This pump is, this pump is too big. Does that make sense? No, no, said Ben. Bill. Ben. Ben. This pump is too big. What is that word? Pump. Pump. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Say pumpkin. Pumpkin. Okay, make sure I hear you say the no, whole word. No, said Ben. This pump pumpkin pumpkin is too big. And keep your remember to keep your book on the table. Mom and remember and with your finger. Dad, come here, said Ben. All right, and where should our finger go? Right here. Underneath the word, right? So that way we can see. This is the right pumpkin for me. Did that make sense? Try that again. This is the this this is the pumpkin for me. Good job. So before when you read that, it, you read too many words, right? So remember, you you should always be matching like the this. text, right? So your your mouth should be matching what's on the page. You should you should look the sound right. Or does it look? It doesn't make sense, right? Yep. So you want to use your eyes, ears, and your good sense. All right. All right. Wait a minute. Okay. So did you enjoy this story? Yeah. Looking forward to going to your every day page, huh? by Chris Bonner. Hey, and listen. <laughs> Remember, our goal is to what? Stay still. Yeah, and slow what? down. All right. So. Wait a minute, I didn't tell you to go to this book yet, right? We gotta be patient, okay? So let's take a breather and slow down. You did very good in slowing down for that book. Let's try this one, okay? Every Day by Chris Bonner. Good. Every Day by Chris Bonner. When a rainy on day, table. you can go and on a rainy day, you can go in the puddle. On a sun, on a sunny day, you can go for a swim. On a windy day, you can go. On a windy day. You can fly a kite. On a snowy day, you can ride a sled. Did that make sense? Oh, yeah. Read it again. Try it again. On a snowy day, you can ride a sled. Okay. 
let's go back. Okay, you skipped over this word. Okay, so that's why it's important to, to wait. Okay, oh, Kalea, wait a minute. That's why it's important to use your finger to match up each word. Okay, so let's try to slow down. Okay, and then try it again. On a snowy day, you can ride on a sled. Okay, does that make sense now? On a rainy. Don't look to me. You can read a book every day. Okay, don't worry about reading those words. You don't. don't worry about reading. All right, did you enjoy that book? Yes? Yeah? Okay, I noticed what you did well. You went back to check over when you... Look at me, Claire. When you saw that something didn't sound right, you went back to reread it. So good job, okay? Because you started to read this uh, particular text. It didn't sound right at first, so you went back to reread it. So good job. That's Look at me. That's what I want you to continue doing, okay? All right. Say yes. Yes. Okay. Let me know you're listening. All right, so now we're going to go I ahead. I Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a running record for this book here, okay? Um, Mom, Mom can't, can't sleep. sleep. Right. Okay. So for this, for this book, I'm not going to guide you. I want you to use your good Mom reading strategies. sleep. And hold it down so I can see the text, okay? I can't sleep, said Mom. This big spider is not in, in his box. You can go to sleep, said Andy the Big spider is not in his box. Mom looks under the bed. Go to go. Go, said Mom. Go, said Mom. Mom looks under the bed. Go, said Mom. The big spider is not under the bed. Mom looks under the pillows. Go, said Mom. The big Go, said Mom. The big spider is not under the pillow. Mom, Mom looks under the bed. Go, said Mom. They are no, they, they, is no. Try that again. The big spider is not under the bed. The the big spider is not in the bed. Said mom, I can't go to sleep. It's almost like a movie. Mm-hmm. It's like a movie. Let's um, keep it flat down. Mom was to mom was mom was too mom was too sleepy in the bed. The big spider was too to sleep. With mom. Oh, I'll pick the book up. And I want you to try that again. Because you closed the book before you finished. Okay. So I'll try that last page again.
Mom went to sleep in the bed. The big spider went to sleep with Mom. All right. All right. Mom went to sleep in her bed. No, Mom that's okay. You don't have to reread it. In the bed. The big spider was too sleepy with mom. All right. All right. Did, okay, so when you just read that the third time, did that make sense what you just read? Did you understand that? Well, I didn't really understand that, which means that something went wrong, right? So I want you to really listen to make sure that you're understanding as you're reading, okay, Kalea? Okay, you did a really good job, though. I want to point out some things that you did well, but before I do that, did you enjoy that story? Did you wonder, have you ever wondered how that spider got there in the first place? Do you think mom would have wanted a pet spider or do you think Andy would have wanted a pet spider? Andy. Yeah. So how do you think that spider got there? Do you think, how do you? I think I know. Go ahead. Andy volunteered at his, at his school to take the spider home. Oh. And then, and then, and then, and then mom don't like spiders and then, and then Andy do but. But Eddie didn't care. Okay, that, that's a good prediction. Well, guess what? Today we're going to find out when we read our new book, okay? And I'll tell Is you. Is this a, uh, Yes, it's the same characters. So we'll, we'll talk about it in just a little while, okay? <laughs> but you did a good job. One thing I want to point out, okay? I noticed that you did a lot of self-correction. This self book is old, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're listening now, right? So I know that you did a lot of self-correction, okay? What I want you to pay attention to is when you read a word, if it doesn't make sense, what should you do? Reread. You reread, right? Look. So, wait a minute. Does I'm still it look talking. Like, does it sound? Right. Or does it, does it? Does it make sense, right? Does it look right? Does it sound right? Does it make sense? Right. So, for example, okay, if we go to this last page that you, that you read. At first you said, Mom was too sleepy in the bed, right? So... Mom if I look at that sentence, what does it say? The bed. Is that bed? Look at it good. Could that be bed? Covers. Okay, could it be covers? What would covers begin with? Okay. Or a C, right? What does this word begin with? A B. A B. So could that be cover? Would that make sense to say cover? Boo. Mm hmm. So I need to get my mouth ready to say what? Look. And then can I use something else in here to help me? Boo. What else could you use to help you with this word? Does it look right? Okay. We, well, we already said that, but what in the book can you use, Kalea? Put that down. What but in the book can you, you use? Can, you can go like, book, uh, So you could try to sound it out, right? Or does it look right? Or does it sound right? Or does it make sense? Right. So if I look in the picture, look, Kalea. If I look in the picture, what is mom holding? Cover. A cover or a, what's another word for blanket. it? Blanket. A blanket. So, Mom looked under the blanket. Right. Cause it, so could that word be blanket? Yes. It makes sense, right? It looks right. Blanket. Blanket. It sounds right and it makes sense, right? So those are the kind of things that I want you to start doing on your own, okay? What's it right. in the book? Hmm? Uh, we're going to get to it in just a second, okay? So, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to do a little word work, okay? And I, I need to set my timer because I did not set it. So, we only got two minutes for word work, so we have to get started, okay? Sit down. All right, in the book, there was a word that said cannot. Do you remember that word? Cannot. Remember yesterday we talked about how can't and cannot is the same thing. This is a contraction, right? So they, to shorten the word, they change it to can't instead of cannot. Sit up. Thank you for your attention, okay? So on the first page here, read that. What does it say? I can't. Okay, now you were saying can't. And then word is actually cannot, okay? So we're going to work on that word cannot today, okay? So... You're going to watch me as I spell the word out, okay? Cannot. C-A-N-N-O-T. Cannot. Can you say it? Cannot. Good. All right, so if we look at the word cannot, okay? 
we see some words that we know, right? I see a word that you know. Do you see a word that you know? And cannot? And. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and push it down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, then, no, A. We already got A. Right. Okay, I thought you were going to show me not. Look. You see those are two words? Halea, where do your eyes belong? Halea, right here, honey. Look, focus, okay? Can, look at, look at the board. Can no. not, do you see those two words? Cannot. You know that word, what is this Cannot word? Cannot do it. Okay, what is this word? Can. Okay, go ahead and point to it and say it out loud. Can not. Okay, nope, it's just can, right? Can. That's can, and this is what? Not. Okay, so these are two words in one. We call those compound words, okay? So can not. All right? Say it again. Can not. All right. Good job. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go to writing. Let me turn my timer off here. All right. So what are we going to write about today? Sit down. You want to write about one of your stories you read? I'll let you choose which one you want. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Wait, we're about to finish the other one. Hmm? We're about to finish the other one. From yesterday? Yeah. Oh, you were going to add one to it? Nah. No. You want to do a new story today? We can add one to it today if you want it. Because we I ran out so, of time. Well, let me get you so, some tissue. Just a second. Let me get you some tissue. Ah, don't do that. Just wait. I'm going to get you some tissue. All right. There you go. Go ahead and wipe your mouth. All right. So can you go ahead and throw that away right out the door there? Right here. Just put it right there. There you go. Come on, have a seat. All right, getting back to writing. So what are we going to write about? I am super happy to read the new book. Oh, I like that sentence. Okay, let's say it again. I'm so happy to read the new book. What happened to super? Oh, I'm so happy to super read the Does that make sense? I'm I am super happy, happy to read the new book. Good, let's say it one more time. I, I am, am super happy to read the new book. All right. I am super happy to read the new book. Go ahead and start. I, I, how do I am? All right, let's practice up here. Okay, so let's say the word out loud. Like this. Nope, don't write big. Remember, we talked about that before. We want to save space, right? So what word are we trying to spell? Am, right? What do we hear first? Say it, Kalea. Say the word out loud. Put your marker down. Say the word out loud. Say the word am out loud. Am. What do we hear? Say it again. Am. So what's the first sound you hear? A. 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 Thank you. Go ahead and write it. And we're going to practice up there, okay? Small letters. Right here. I. M. What else do we hear? Say it again. M. M. Good. And what's the word? Say it. M. Good. Go ahead and write it. I always remember to leave space. Okay. So what was the I next super. word? Super. Mm -hmm. Super. S. Good. Now, the second part is a little tricky, okay? So, super, that U and P makes the soup. Super. And what do you hear at the end? Super. Uh, uh. Let's clap it. Super. What do we hear? R. Okay, we do hear R, so go ahead and write R. Okay, now, right before the R, though, we hear E it's so to make the R. So, it's E-R. Super. So we're writing, we're spelling it S U P 
what at the end? E R. Right. Okay, go ahead and write it. Don't forget to add the E after the P, right? All done. Good. So let's go back and read the sentence. I am super. All right. What was the next word? Happy. Mm, happy. Let's H practice up here. Mm -hmm. Ah. Good. P. Mm -hmm. E. Okay. It sounds like it could be an E, doesn't it? But it's actually. Oh, I, like, I got these two others. Yep. You got the first three. Ha. And then that's a double consonant. It's a little tricky. So it's two P's and then a Y at the end. So, happy. Can you say it? Happy. All right. Go ahead and reread. I am super happy too. Mm -hmm. That's the word you know. Don't forget about the spacing, okay? I am super happy to or mm -hmm. good. Wait, I gotta just follow this book if I wanna read read. Can you see the word read in there? That's a good strategy. Go back to your resources, right? Good job. Where's the word read? Right here. Good. E. Mm-hmm. A. Good job. So go ahead and back and read it. I am super happy to read the. Mm -hmm. Good. That's the word you know, right? The. Mm. Okay, let's practice up here. What's the word that we're trying to spell? Say it out loud. Mm. No. Say it out again. Say it again. No. Let me hear you say it. No. Good. Now. Mm. So it's the ooh, ooh, no. Hey, I'm gonna help you out, okay? That two letter the two letters is E W. No makes an ooh sound. Okay? So go ahead oh and write it. Oh my god, that's the smart of. That's okay. We have fix it tape, right? Alright. Alright, go ahead and write it. Wait, are this a plastic book? Is it made out of plastic? No, I said it's a pa a practice book. Um, well, you know, this this part is our practice page, right? And this is our I know, I know working page. Okay. All right, so go ahead and read your sentence. Well, we don't have time for that. Go ahead and read your sentence out loud. I am super happy. I am Mark her super down. I am super happy to read the new book. Okay, so book. We'll say that out loud. Right here. I'll even know spell it. Oh, okay. You see it in the book? Do you know how to spell it without looking? B O O K. I didn't have to look. All right. I could look through Okay, good. Now, spell it up there again. Let's see. B O O K. Good for you. Say the word. What is it? Book. Good job. Awesome. All right. So go back and read your sentence. I am super happy to read the new book. All right. And what goes at the end of the sentence? Period. Good. Can I do a red period? Sure. All right, go ahead, quickly close your book. Ready? I am super happy to read the new book. Good job. That's a little period. Hmm? Well, the period is at the end right here. So let's go ahead and assemble the book. I mean, that's the sentence, okay? 
Let's unscramble our birds here. All right. And say it again. I am. What comes next? I am. Let's say this. Let's say I, the whole sentence. I, I am, am super, super happy, happy to read the new book. Good. All I right. I am super. I am super. I am super. Or happy. Happy. Let's scoot it over a little bit so you can have more room. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. The. New. Book. Good job. Okay, go ahead and back and read it again. I am super happy to read the new book. Good. Since you're super happy, what could we put at the end of that instead of a period? A comment. Huh? A question. Not a question mark, but a exciting Wait, mark. An exclamation mark. Exclamation. Look at you using the big word. So, do you remember what we need to draw above the period? Uh, there you go. Good job. And just, yeah, just make a, another little good job. All right. Because you're super happy, right? So, when we're super excited, we can use a exclamation, exclamation mark. All right, let's go ahead and put our sentence inside the envelope, okay? So I want you to make sure you do your homework today, okay? And put your sentence Have you already checked it? Yes. Well, I, I'm going to, I'll check the notebook before you leave, okay? All right. So we're going to put this aside so it can go in your bag, okay? All right, are you ready for the new book? Yes. Of course you are because you're super happy, right? All right, so this new book is called A New Pet. And it's the same characters that were was in your other book that Wait, we just read. Can you read. show me? Yes. Do you recognize mom? Mm -mm. See, this is mom. Well, and do you remember? Wait, wait a minute. What is his name? Andy. Andy. So let me tell you really I knew quick. It was that. Because we were running out of time. So what do you need to do during the book introduction? Listen. Listen. So in the new pet, it tells all about how Andy was able to bring the big spider home. Okay, now you'll see that Andy is at a pet store, right? So he talks his mom into going into the pet store to get a new pet, right? Do you think mom is expecting to get to see a pet spider? Yes? Huh? Yeah, well, let's see. Oh, and it looks like they, they're looking at different types of pets. What kind of pets do you see in there? A parrot. A, a, a bird, or it could be a, a type of parrot, right, which, which is a bird. And what else do we see? Fish and a mouse. A fish and a mouse. So Andy, is he looked at the fish, he looked at the bird, and he looked at the mouse too. Oh, and then what did he see? A big spider. What do you think he had? Wait, wait, wait. No, stop. This is our big book introduction, so you got to wait, okay? So what do you think he, he said to mom when he saw that big spider? Mom, can I please get it? Oh, well, what do you think mom's going to say? Yeah, she said, oh, 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 said mom, right? So she used that expression. Sometimes when we're kind of scared or something, we say, oh, oh, like that, right? So mom says, oh, oh, said mom, right? And what do you think she said? She doesn't what? I don't want, I don't. I do not. Like spiders. Mm -hmm. And what do you think Andy's going to say? Please. Can I get the spider? spider. And then mom's going to think about it. And then she's going to decide whether Andy can get the spider. So what do you think? Do you think Andy gets the spider? Yeah, we know that because what? We read mom can't sleep. All right, let's go ahead and read, okay? And I'm just going to um, listen to you as you read. A New Pet. By Chris Bond. Uh, this is actually by Mar Bob Martin and pictures are by Mike Farron. All right. Go ahead and start. A. Ah, read the whole title. A. Pet. A New Pet. Mm -hmm. 
And where do I want your fingers at? All right. Come and come a come. Does that make sense? Try it again. Can mm -hmm. I go? Use your fingers to point. Can I go and pet said egg? Can I go in here? Does that make sense? Nope. Try it again. Can I go? And look at. I want you to. I want your eyes on the text. Okay. So only say what what's in the text. Ready? Can, can I, I get a pet? Let's try it again. Can, can I get a pet? All right. Can I get a pet? Said Annie. You said mom. Does that make sense for her to say you? You said mom. You said mom. Okay, so what do you need to do if it doesn't make sense? Come on, Kalea. Use your good strategies. Yes. Use. Yes. Yes, said mom. You can get a pet. Andy. Don't look at me. I want you to look at the Andy, text. Andy, look at the pets. Here, look at a fish. He looks at a fish. He looks at a fish.